how do we put all of this together and try to decide on uh, what our settings should be? So there's an obvious trade-off. When we lower the exposure, we can image potentially faster if we have to. We expose the cells less, so there will be less photo damage, but we get an image of lower quality. And you saw that play out in the series I just made. So if we go down to exposure of 50, you can see the, the noise overwhelms everything. With an exposure of 100, we can see something, but uh, very, very noisy. With an exposure of 200 things start cleaning up and as we go up in exposure and i like to go in factors of two just because they make things very clear as we go up things become easier and easier to see at the expense of more time invested to get that data now we never want to be in a situation where uh, the signal is saturated uh, so we don't want to be in a situation where this is 16 and then we have pixels bunched up here in the brightest possible uh, uh, sort of uh, intensities. Uh, usually uh, you are not going to be in that position, but just keep an eye on it because you really don't want any saturation. If you have saturation, that's going to completely destroy any ability for you to do any kind of quantitative or even qualitative comparisons unless what's saturated is something that's obviously garbage and that your worst enemy reviewing your paper is going to consider as garbage and ignore. Uh, so really be careful with saturation, even though it's with this camera that has such a high dynamic range and with the kinds of things that people typically look at on this microscope, uh, that is not a concern.